Well, now you've got to drum up another excuse to be around the love of your life. Could hit another patient. Yeah, don't like to repeat myself. People will say I'm formulaic. Well, that rules out letting the rat go so you can catch him again. I can't do that. Steve needs two weeks antibiotics and a smoke-free environment. Cigarettes aggravated his infection. The rat is actually sick? That thing could infect the entire hospital. Steve's infection is not contagious to humans. I'm an idiot. How do I miss mycoplasmosis? Was that the kid's father? Yeah. Remember the Black Death? It started with rats. Well, what's he doing in the hallway? Is the kid getting his biopsy already? He just won't go in the room. Who knows what else he has? Parasites? Bacterial infection? The kid doesn't have parasites. Not the kid, the rat. Was he still sweating? Rats only sweat through their tails. Not the rat, the dad. Why is he here? He wanted to talk to you. Uh-huh. Did you two used to hunt together? Foxes. Did you kill foxes? It's Montana. Those masses in your chest are not tumors. They're parasitic cysts from a bug called echinococcosis. Touch a dead fox, they jump aboard, they can hunker down for decades. Growing, spawning, shopping, putting on plays. I've been tested for parasites. OK, it's cancer. You happy? The cysts isolate the parasites keeping them from showing up in stool samples, even in blood tests, cardiac uh, events. You don't need me for this. But you've got the same things in your liver. I have cirrhosis. Liver cysts have identical symptoms, with one addition, fever. And liver cysts we can test for. Your diagnosis could confirm Calvin's. So, option A, we draw some blood. No, no, look, you're not touching me. And you see, this is why I need you here. I want you to tell your son that you won't take a simple, painless blood test to save his life. You, uh, never expressed a shred of regret for what happened to your mother? Jeez, oh, damn. If you'd have worn a damn rubber, you'd have been fine. You could have saved her life. You wouldn't be lying here. Yeah, 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 I get it. You're really mad at him for killing himself and destroying everything you love. I don't have time for this. Are you going to apologize? I'm living my life the way I want. Are you going to give me some blood? Look, if he doesn't give a damn, then neither do I. OK, option B. Why did your wife kill herself? Did she hate you? She was a diabetic. You know, you don't know a thing about my Susan. Either Susan wanted to die, or she was both fat and stupid. Used a Twinkie instead of a gun. And girls with big appetites, well, they just can't get enough of any. Shut up. Probably nibbled on every devil dog in the county. Shut up! In case I'm not making myself clear, I don't mean the delicious snack. You son of a bitch! Ah! Come on! Thank you means I can do this. We're gonna need some epi in here, stat. Are you out of your mind? You said you didn't care. <laughs> Notice how you can't breathe? Uh, now, either that's the cane, or I just ruptured one of those liver cysts we were chatting about, and you've gone into uh, anaphylactic shock, exactly the same way your son did when he accidentally tripped against my friend's car. And I'm just so excited to find out which. <laughs> Scheduled surgery. Two successful surgeries, two lives saved. I'm over my quota. Can I have next week off? Two family members assaulted. It was self-defense. You baited him. You're right. I was asking for it. The low-cut blouse, the doomy pumps. He flooded his gut with a parasite. He could sue. Go see Stacy. OK. That's it? OK? No name-calling, no squawking, no rending of garments. I like this T-shirt. 